Welcome to the Coaches Show. I'm Darren Joins, Williamson County Schools Athletic Director. We're talking about tonight's District 10 for a matchup. Paige will travel to Summit. We have our girls coaches to start off. We've got Coach Randy Kaufman of Page. We have Coach Hal Merrill of Summit High School. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Awesome. Appreciate it, Darren. Coach Kaufman in his second year at Page. Coach Merrill in his first at Summit. I'm going to start with you, Coach Kaufman. You're in year two. I want you to talk about compared to year one in terms of, let's just, I mean, basics. Of where do I turn in my attendance? Where's my computer? How do I sign in? Have you noticed a, a comfort level with just those things? Well, I think so. And, you know, anytime you start over a new program, and, and, and Coach Merrill can, can allude to this as well, you, uh, you know, you start, you, you start with cultural things. And uh, I, I think that that's really been our first year. Uh, like you said, there's there's always those you want to you want to know procedural things with Williamson County, uh, and you know things such as you being here right now and getting to do these things and, and promote our athletes. I think it's just off the chain super, uh, you know, for our county to be able to do that. But for me, you know, we're still we're still trying to get the culture to where we want it. You know, what we feel like is 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 sustainable uh, for a period of time, and it's not just coming in and coaching a team. It's, uh, it's not anything that I've ever done in the past where I, I just want to try to be really good at this team. We want to be a good program. And um, so, you know, we've started, we, we, like, we got a chance to lay some of those foundations down last year. And, uh, you know, this year they've carried forward and we're starting to see some great progress in our athletes. Coach Kaufman, talk about this. Uh, you know, we all have styles we would like to play or this team, it seems to me, and knowing how you've coached in the past, sort of reflects what you like, maybe not, nothing against your team last year at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not knocking them, but it seems to mirror kind of what you've done with some other teams. Is that accurate? I, I think so. You know, and you, we've all got a style we'd like to play, and, and certainly we play up tempo. How I can tell you that, mm -hmm. uh, but we, we also we have to morph a little bit based on personnel. Sure. And, right. and so you've got to adjust a little. And and uh, you know where we would love to play a game in the 70s. Our group is is uh, just that's not what's best for this group right now. And so we've tried to be more, um, a little bit more set oriented in situational things. We're still trying to teach the game. We're still trying to um, to have kids read and be able to play a little bit faster and keep the other team uncomfortable. But uh, certainly, you know, as especially over a, over a 19 game stretch, we kind of see now as a coaching staff that we're going to have to interlude in some situations and, and put ourselves in position to to really be successful, uh, and it may not be where we're getting to flopping down the court with seventy possessions like we'd love, like we'd love to. Coach Merrill, talk about uh, your time here. So you came in during the summer, correct? I was telling uh, uh, Coach Burgess and I were talking off camera a little bit earlier about hey, when you guys came in this summer, y'all were as popular as you ever going to be. <laughs> right? Yeah. You just been Funny hired. Move. Yeah. Everybody was excited. You were excited. Yes. yes. Nobody <laughs> got cut. Nobody's <laughs> playing time got correct. knocked out. Yep. Uh, but you're from here. You've right. lived here a while. Yep. Talk about, though, once the school year started, some adjustments maybe you've had to make a little bit, and it could be on or off the court. Right. Well, you know, I, I kind of tag team with what Randy was saying, you know, trying to figure out the the admin requirements as a teacher coming in. They're, they're different for the Williamson County schools than they were for the Murray County or the Dixon County schools that I had been in. So, you know, that was a, that was an adjustment. Um, organizing practice time, sharing gym space with wrestling, Girls basketball, boys basketball. Who's here? Who's there? I, you know, it's a it's a luxury to have two gyms, but at the same time, it'd be great to have three. You know, but it, it is what it is. So that has been an adjustment. Trying to organize. Okay, girls, we're not going to practice till five o'clock today. Um, you know, getting through the dean duties that they've hired me to do, which is an awesome uh, thing that Danny Bourne has got me involved in. Uh, but there's just been a lot of little small adjustments and moving pieces that have gone into the first five months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very well said, Coach. Talk about this. Uh, your players, are you still maybe learning each other <laughs> yes. a little bit? Yes. You know, we had a team meeting yesterday. It's funny you say that. Um, and I just asked a question. I said, look, I know I'm not the easiest coach in the world to play for. <laughs> and some of them smiled and said, shaking their head, no, you're not, you know. And um, the Love funny honesty. Uh, it is. At least they were honest. Um, you know, but I, they played for John Wiles. So it's not like they – you know, it's kind of the same, yeah, sure. same style and same format. Um, 
you know, I, I'm still, you know, figuring them out personality wise. They're sure. still filling out my personality. And I think Randy will tell you, I, I, his relationship with his girls probably has grown from year one to year two. Um, mine's growing weekly and monthly, but at the same time, they are still figuring out what is expected. Uh, this is not allowed. This is allowed. Uh, um, we're supposed to be on the floor at this time. And like you're saying, building culture and it comes with time. And I don't have that senior that says, okay, this is the way we do this because they're still learning the way we do sure. it too. So. No, that's great. That's great. And that's people don't realize that's a big part of coaching, especially talking about taking new jobs, Correct. Which, which both yeah. of you guys are relatively new here. Let's talk a little bit about your team more, Coach Kaufman. Uh, these two teams play on January 5th at Page. You get the 45-31 win. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about your game at Franklin on Monday night. Uh, you come out with the win. Mm -hmm. The game, I think some people might have looked at it, God, oh, that's a little bit closer. than That's a pretty good team now. They've got one district win, but that's a pretty good team. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel's group is really uh, is really tough. And, I, you know, after playing them, I thought their, their guard play was excellent. And, uh, you know, they've got a difference maker. You know, you've got a 6'3 kid that can jump out of the gym and long. And I think she had eight blocks against us the other night. So, uh, you know, they are a matchup problem for people. And, um, you know, I, I, I thought they played well. I thought you saw both teams with a lot of rust, to be honest. You could tell yeah. we'd both been out for eight days. Um, I, I don't know what they were from the line, but I know we were 13 to 30 from the free throw line. And that's that's not normal for our group. We've been a 67% free throw shooting team. So, uh, but you know, again, you can't get mad at it. We've been out for eight days and, and uh, it was good to get back in the gym, have some whistles blowing and some shoes squeaking. Coach, talk about this too. Uh, if you look at your team, Mary Elizabeth Fox, she's really played well for – you've had others too, but I look at that game on Monday, 21 points, nine rebounds, four steals. Sold a couple bags of popcorn too, I heard. She played a great game that night. Yeah, she is. She has really come on. Uh, you know, she's she's always been athletic. She really committed to skill development in the offseason. You know, we talk all the time about adding adding things to your bag. Have some stuff to you yeah. that you can go to in, in, a, in a tough situation. And, and uh, I, I think you're starting to see that with her. Um, the other night, uh, you didn't really see how well her three-point game was because we were able to get her in some situations where she was she got to attack the basket. But uh, you know, she was one of our one for tens from the free, from the free throw line. And bless her heart, uh, a seventy percent shooter from the line for us, and goes up there and just has a has a night. And, and I tell you, uh, a tribute to her. And I'll tell you what she brings to us because we don't have a senior, but this this kid is the most positive human being I've ever been around. Like, it, it's unbelievable. Like, I'll get after about something, she'll just look at me and smile. Coach, you're absolutely right. And, and just the biggest <laughs> smile on her face. Like, nothing's going to yeah. bother, which is a blessing and a curse at times. But it's certainly a strength of hers when the competition things get tough. Uh, that attitude is infectious to the rest of our program. Yep. Coach, uh, Merle, your team right in that mix as we stand now for that home first-round district game. Is that something that – you know, in the back of your mind, maybe it's in the front of your mind. Right. Let's get a home first round game. Right. It's almost like you were in our team meeting yesterday, just to be honest with you, <laughs> these questions you're asking me. Um, He's going to be looking at those cameras going. Let's see, guys. The eyes are always watching. Um, that, that was something that we talked about. I drew up the district standings. I, I honestly had to make sure that my freshmen and sophomores <laughs> knew how the district worked. And yep. to be honest with you, no freshman nor sophomore on our team had any idea sure. how, the, how they were seated. So we broke it down with the top three or four teams and then five through eight. You know, and I was like, look, best case scenario, we could upset one of those top teams. That would be Brentwood, Nolan, Silver Page right now as we're entering somewhat of the halfway point. I said, but you want to position yourself somewhere no lower than that four or five spot right there for sure. You know, because you don't want to get down to a point where you're having to travel to a top one or a top two seated team. So – you know, through some injuries that we've had to deal with this year, we still feel like we are capable of getting into one of those positions. And just the comfort level, if you will, of playing at home versus sure. traveling on the road. Because this, this district, as Randy will tell you, it's, it's not very forgiving. Um, you know, you, like you were talking about Franklin there at one and four, if you go back and look at their scores, they've been in every single ball game they've played. Uh, Centennial had us on the ropes the other day, had us down at our place. And, you know, great coach, and right now they're winless in the district. And they're not that bad. That record is not reflective of how good of a team they are. So, yeah, we, um, it, it's a toss-up, but, yeah, we are definitely still in the mix and, and trying to hold on to that. 
four spot. Coach, uh, obviously you've got a senior that everybody knows about, Quinn Johnston, Correct. who's a great player for you. But Correct. you've got a young team, too. If you take we a do. look at your roster, yeah. better days are ahead for your team. Right. Randy and I were just talking about that. The, the district as a whole on the girls' side is extremely young. Yeah. It really, really is young. Um, you know, we've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores who are playing varsity minutes. You know, I would love to think we were the only ones. And, you know, but Randy's in that same situation. But, yes, um, hopefully gaining experience. There's no shortness of game experience as, it, as you go to a sophomore or a junior. You can fall back on that and grow from it. And we've got a freshman that's starting. We've got a freshman that's coming in. We've got sophomores now that are starting and coming in. And with our JV schedule as well, I, too, totally agree that as we progress through the end of this season and get into year two and year three, that we should start seeing some dividends of that. If you talk about the district, uh, uh, no, and uh, Coach Kaufman's not going to admit this, but Nolensville, Page, Brentwood sort of separated a little bit. Again, we got a lot of basketball to play. Right, uh, Coach Kaufman, and I don't know how much you looked at the league from afar, but I've always said this about the girls' league. We went through a period, I think, in this county that the only real good girls' basketball consistently being played was Ronnie Sigenthaler and Brentwood. Those mm -hmm. days are over. If you take a look at girls basketball, right. that particular sport, in my opinion, in the last five years has made one of the biggest jumps in terms of quality teams from top to bottom. Agree with that? Uh, absolutely. And, it, you know, it starts with with, uh, with with great coaching. And, you know, you've got great administration. So uh, just, you know, Paige Hosko that I'm involved with, Dr. Hill, uh, former coach, uh, Randy Hatley, one of our assistant principals, former coach. Uh, so they, they understand the value without compromising the importance of academics. And I, I think that, uh, you know, that's been probably the biggest turn in, in Williamson County. Um, went, did, went back and did a lot of research when I first got the job. And who, were the, who were the traditional programs? And, and like you said, there, there wasn't a lot uh, in the past there. But, but what you're going to see are some kids now that, uh, you know, when we talk about culture, is changing that culture. That it's more than just being able to be successful in a, a highly competitive Williamson County, but being able to do that in Middle Tennessee or statewide. And, you know, you've got to have those aspirations uh, before you can do them. you got to think them. And uh, you can't run and hide from them. Uh, I can remember being a young coach and, and uh, you know, talking about things you just you just talked about with your team, how with my coaching staff, but we didn't want to tell it to the girls. They might get right. nerves. We might be worried <laughs> right. about it. But, you know, you, you, I almost believe that you can, you, can, you can add that or you can will that to happen. And, uh, you know, we hope, we hope that, you know, we can be as competitive as a Brentwood, who is who's obviously uh, a very talented team. And, and what do you say about the job that Chris has done at Nolensville? Uh, outstanding, tough, tough basketball, basketball team and program. So yep. we're, we're just excited to be in the mix. You know, we're new. We're, you know, I tell our kids all the time, you're the whipping stick in our league. I don't know about you. You country <laughs> kids out there in Williamson County. And, and uh, so we're just kind of in a year one trying to feel through this thing. Right. That's a sales job right there. Now I love we, it. We, yeah. we don't believe yeah. that, do we? Correct. Uh, Coach Murrell, let's talk about this. Right. Uh, uh, we, we, we talked about it. it. Really, you don't know until you've played everybody once. Correct. Now the schedule got messed oh, up. Oh, my goodness, yes. Because of the weather. <laughs> yes. So you're not going to play yes. two of the teams until you've played a couple others two right. times. Remind us, what are the two games that you're making up? I have later? Frank Indy and Franklin and Independence. So those are your four that you'll right. end up playing. So right. And we're not going to get into Franklin and Indy, but right. if you look at it, you know, that may be better than – Nolansville, Brentwood. Well, unfortunately, I've got all those guys this week. We had, you know, <laughs> you know so um, we will. Uh, but Randy's coming over there Friday night, and um, or coming Friday night. We're gonna, you know, do what we can uh, with his guards that are outstanding, well coached team. Uh, gonna spread us out and drive it and shoot the three, and we're gonna do everything we can to try to slow them down and um, try to, you know, knock off one of those top dogs in the district, and you know put a feather in our cap and hold on to that victory for the end of the season, I hope. Well, and what you're alluding to is this. I'm going to be shocked if we don't have some ties. 
Yeah. The ties will come down to you start head to head, head and to you head. probably split if you tied. Yep. Then you start going from the one seed down. Correct. And so if you get one of those wins like you're Correct. talking about, Correct. Yes. then you got the tiebreaker if Correct. you need it. So exactly it is right. Yes. It is important. And again, I wasn't in the meeting yesterday, but Correct. there might have been discussion. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening. So let's talk about this. And again, I appreciate you guys being here today. Coach Kaufman, uh, again, you came out on top the first time you matched up. Give me a key for your team tonight in this game against Summit. Well, you know, they're, they're going to be tough at home. Uh, me, personally, I've not been there as a coach in uh, in my 33 years. Uh, I've been there to camps. I've obviously been there in attendance, but not as a coach. So uh, I, I know that uh, the student sections are going to be great, and uh, the home court advantage is 100% plus 10 in our county, and uh, we'll, we'll certainly have to overcome that, uh, among other things. So we're excited for the challenge. Coach Merle, what about your team? Again, trying to avenge that January 5th game, and like Coach said, you are playing at home. Right. You know, I, I, I again, like our chances on our home floor. It, it's tough to go in our district on any night, but especially to have to go on the road. Uh, you know, I reinforced for the girls just the other day that it was a it was a two-point game at halftime versus Paige. Um, you know, and then they did a great job in the third quarter, and we were unable to overcome that. So, you know, I, I think we just have to we, – we need to stay out of foul trouble. The main thing for them, these guys is we've got to somehow find a way to slow them down. They get going downhill pretty quick. They get out in transition and, and get easy baskets, and we've got to try to make it a little bit more of a half-court game if we can. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedules. Looking forward to tonight's game. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Thank you. We'll be back to talk with the boys' coaches after this break. Welcome back to the Coaches Show. I'm Darren Joins, Williamson County Schools Athletic Director. Pleased to have our boys' coaches now in the house talking about tonight's 10 4 a matchup. We've got Page High School head coach Jared Street, Summit High School head coach Thad Burgess. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, big game. We talked about this in the girls' side, too. Big game for both teams in terms of battling for position. Every game you're battling for position uh, in the district standings. You played on January 5th at Page, a 63-49 win for the Patriots. Coach Street, welcome back to the show. It's a very competitive league, and I know you've been excited about it. Absolutely. You know, uh, the, the league we were in last year was was good for our kids, but uh, there, there's nothing better than having all eight teams together in this league. Um, you know, you, you talk about and compare to some of the great college basketball conferences, whether it be the Big 12 or the SEC, and this is what it feels like. There's no night off. You, you really have a, a difficult time even taking a breath. It's You can't even really enjoy wins sometimes. It's getting ready for the next game. So it's really been a lot of fun as a coach, and it's been a lot of fun for our players and fans. Well, Coach Street, and you're in year three there at, at, at Page High School, WCS, the first two years you were in a different league with your team. Uh, people may have forgotten this. I certainly haven't. You went undefeated in the regular season last year. But talk about this because you've got an interesting perspective in that you were playing the WCS teams anyway. Right. Talk about how they – obviously to you they feel different because you know it's a league game. But talk about your kids, the, the players, the students – how does the game feel different when you play Summit or Franklin versus, hey, this is nine district versus this is a district game? Does it feel different? It does. You can tell through the student body during the day, during the, day of the school. Um, the, the students are more excited to come to game. Um, our, I think our student sections have been a lot better because of that. Um, our, our players are more excited to play. You know, and, and that's no disrespect to the teams we we played last year. They were great teams, great coaches, great players. But our kids just get more excited. They get more focused in playing these types of games, knowing what's on the line. Yeah, that's 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 very well said, Coach Burgess. Welcome to the. Co hey, now you were here this summer. <laughs> I sure was. It's like yesterday. And listen, uh, you and Coach Merle were as popular as you were ever going to be. Y'all had just been hired. We've hit the real world now. <laughs> you had just been hired. Just you. you hadn't messed up anything at school. You hadn't set anybody on the bench. You hadn't cut anybody. So it's a little different now, but uh, appreciate you being here for yeah, the coach's we'll show. Uh, yes, sir. Let's talk about this. You and I have talked a lot over the years, not just this yeah, we year. We have. We have. Yes, sir. But, and I know you'll be honest. Now, we want yeah. you to. Compare what you're dealing with right now with the league that you're coaching yeah. in versus some of those other leagues you've coached in. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I've uh, I'm sending pictures 
I'm taking pictures of, of the huddle and sending it to my buddies. Uh, uh, it, it's just is, this dear, is this during your huddle? Like, oh, hold on, fellas, I got to get this picture up. It's just kind of crazy. Uh, it's just, uh, the, just, just the not just the facilities, the people, and just knowing every every game what you're going to be going to. Uh, I uh, I sent one of my players that actually signed at a small college last year. In, in Georgia, and I sent him a picture of, of a couple of the, after the game celebrations, and he was he could not believe. It. He said, we, "We're lucky to get two rows at our games yeah. now." So uh, it's just different. It's neat. There's really no place like it. I know we're sitting here in the office in the building of the place now, but uh, it's just uh, it's, it's. I've been around a while and and seen all kind of different places, and uh, there's nothing that even comes close to what Williamson County offers: basketball coaches, players facilities, system. It checks every box if you're a high school basketball coach. You couldn't ask for more. Well, I love it, and I certainly yeah. appreciate you guys had such a great attitude about us being together. I think it's a great thing. Let me ask you this, Coach Burgess. You and your players, <laughs> is it safe to say, uh, still adjusting to one another? All right, yes, sir. Because there was the preseason, that's right. different. Then there's, there's yeah. practice, and then the game start, now the district games, still getting used to one another. Yeah, it's been, of course, since, since you and I met earlier, on the challenges along the way, uh, we've met them. Uh, we've we've gone through some some stages. We're still in that part. But if you'd ask me this summer, where would you like to be right now? I could not pick a better place as far as where our mindsets are, our body language, our attitudes, our kids. Uh, everything is is falling in place. Of course, we need to win some games. That makes everything better. As we talked about, you've got to win to really sell the whole thing. But uh, we've been in it pretty much every game. Uh, our kids' attitude, uh, our student body. Is excited, uh, or I think our school is excited. I know we we've had a couple of events, and uh, it's just it's just a different feel. It feels really good and really positive. Of course, as coaches, we're having to, to deal with knowing the guy who's next and what you're fixing to see, and 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 maybe the the game part's a little bit different because man, it's a challenge. It is a total challenge. But but there were so many things we felt we needed to do at Summit just to get us to a point where we could actually start competing, and I, and I think we're getting closer. Let's talk about your teams a little bit more specifically. Uh, we talked about this a little bit before we, we came on air. Obviously, top four spots, that's what, you know, you want top four, it's home yes. game in terms of the yeah. district tournament. Beyond that, it may not matter. It may be more about the matchup versus, hey, we want to be fifth because fifth is high, finishing higher than if we were seventh. Well, seventh might work out better for you. You never know mm -hmm. how that might happen. So, it, it, to me, it's real interesting to take a look. Coach Street, if you take a look at your roster, you almost have to do a double take. You've got two seniors, which that's not necessarily atypical, but you're a junior team. You have a yeah. huge junior class. That's a great class for you. Yeah, it's a great class for us. And you know, it's ironic. Uh, I thought we were young last year as sophomores. Uh, in this league, we're still young. It's yeah. a senior heavy league, you know, and our two seniors, mm -hmm. Calvin Catarba and uh, Seamus Stevenson, um, have done everything we've asked them to do. Uh, they've been great leaders in the locker room. Uh, they've been great leaders on the on the floor. You know, I, I couldn't be more proud of, of those two guys. Um, yeah, our junior class obviously is our, our strongest class, and um, they uh, they've carried us. Uh, they carried us last year, and they're doing a lot. We're, we're growing a lot this year. Uh, it's it's you know this as a as a coach um, when you graduate one or two players. Uh, the team dynamic changes even. And so we're still trying to figure each other out in some aspects as well, trying to fill roles and trying to fill leadership positions. Um, and, and so it's been fun to watch our junior class grow because they've really, they've, they have grown every single practice and every single game. So it's been fun to watch that. Talk about yeah. getting uh, your junior guard, Andrew Kakulia back. He's very important to your team. He's played a few games. Obviously, that's good for you as we head into the end of the season here. Yeah, you know, Andrew is, uh, I mean, he's a three-year varsity player. You know, um, when he was injured, um, I mean, I can count on one hand how many games he's not played for us in my time at Page. And so we really rely heavily on him. He's a steady hand with the ball in his hand. Uh, obviously, a very good shooter. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he's becoming more vocal. Um, you know, um, and also, you know, a player like Hunter Moss has stepped up for us. You know, um, we've unfortunately the injury bug has, has bit us. We've we've only played one game with our full complement of players in district play. Um, you know, hoping to get kind of get get healthy as we kind of go down this home stretch. But um, Andrew has played really well for us this year. I'm really proud for him. Let's talk summit, uh, Coach. You talked about 
having kids believe in what you're doing. Yeah. That win over Ravenwood right. had to go a long way to remind our viewers here, it's a game that you led early, they take the lead, right. you go to overtime with a nice little out of bounds yeah. underneath right. that ties the thing up. And then in overtime, you get a big bucket on a three by Derek Smith to win right. that game by one. That had to be one where you go, now they can really believe in this yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, and it was uh, it was one of those things where you're looking down the road, you're going, where are we going to be able to get one somewhere? And, uh, of course, Ravenwood was playing so well at that time. And um, it was just one of those nights that things just kind of clicked. And it was just, I want to say kind of from a coach's standpoint, it kind of relieved some pressure. It, you were kind of wondering where that, were we going to be able to get to that point at some point during the district competition by looking who we'd been playing and who we were going to be playing. But uh, it, it definitely lifted. We had a good crowd that night. Our, our students went crazy. We had our, our band was there that night. So uh, it was just a, it was a fun night. But uh, again, Derek was, as you mentioned, it was good for him. Uh, uh, he, he's been a leader for us. And, and, and we've kind of taken the, the situation where, Coach, we've got a big junior class as well. But we had four seniors that we, we knew that we needed to, to, to have something positive. They need to be the ones that were going to lead us to where we're heading down the road. And, and I felt like the most important people in our program were going to be our four seniors. And uh, they, they, they've taken that, that role. And, and I wanted to be able to come back. I know coaches, nothing any better when they come back. And, and that's where you sell your program. So, uh, yeah, the Ravenwood night really kind of gave us a little life. And then, of course, we've had the break. So now we're having to kind of get back in that role again. Well, talk about, you mentioned your seniors. Talk about a guy that most people in WCS would go, can this guy graduate already? <laughs> Caitlin yeah. Festy. He's a guy I think about when I think about your program. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cade, it, it means a lot. That's how he was putting another net for me when I was leaving today. <laughs> <laughs> he, he kind of does it all. You, you got seniors, you know, that'll that'll help you do things. And uh, Andrew Dugan and Jerry and Tate and 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 Derek and them, they they've all just. Uh, I go to them anytime. We, you know, we talk about we're wearing coat and ties today to school. I go and you know they'll got they'll kind of send Derek. She's the talkative of the bunch. So he'll come and I ask the coach, can we do this and do that? So uh, they've been neat. They've fallen in into the scenario, uh, different roles. Again, you know, coach, when they're seniors, sometimes when you're coming in, the roles can be a little different as a new coach coming in. But they 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 bought in, and which has been really a key. Uh, and I think it's our younger kids too, our ninth graders and our and our you know sophomores too. I'm I'm hoping are seeing what they've been able to do and how they've kind of changed their whole their whole body set and their, you know, their body language, everything they've done for the basketball program. Let's talk about uh, the district as it stands. Uh, a game separating five through eight and two games, if you go all the way up to three, mm -hmm. separating the team. So there's a lot to still play for. Coach Street, talk about this. I mentioned it earlier, but let's talk about it a little bit more. Uh, you want to host that first round. You'd love to do that because you're at home. But talk about really it may be more matchup even. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it, it is a matchup driven, uh, you know, when you talk about tournament play and you talk about uh, a, a win or go home situation, it, it's going to be totally based on on matchup. Um, you know, I mean, and, and the truth of the matter is there's been some good home court advantages, but probably for a big game like that. I mean, the other team's going to travel just as well since we're in county. Um, so it, it's really about who you match up well with. And, you know, I mean, um, a, a two seed might be upset having to play a seven seed because the matchup's not good for them. You know, um, I mean, there's just so much good talent in our league. There's so many good coaches in our league. Um, you know, the, the four that advance – we'll have a really legitimate shot at, at making a deep run this year. And so um, I think this these next nine games, uh, next eight games for us, it's really about can we – how much better can we improve as a team so we can be in the best place uh, for that district quarterfinal game. Um, it is – it's a lot about matchups. You're right. And, Coach Burgess, uh, you can't sit and think about it too much. It'll drive you right. nuts. It will. you got to just yeah. say, here's, here's what's ahead of me. we just got to take care of this. Yeah, I think we all do. I know, Coach, when I get home at night, you kind of look and see how the other teams did, and you really can't read anything by it. Definitely no. scores. You know, you look at us going, like, how did that happen? Or how did this happen? So I think that's probably what we're going to see through the next, you know, eight or nine games that we got left. I hope so. You know, we need to be in that mix too. But uh, – uh, we're we're in a situation where the t the top two teams right now, Franklin and Indy, we we still have not played, 
So, you know, that'll be down the road. So that will be a group that we've not seen. But, uh, again, I don't think it's going to – I really don't think it's going to matter who you play with. Them. I couldn't sit right here right now even if I was going to tell my wife, you know, honestly, you know, which one of those that we want, which one of those animals we want to see first. Uh, you know, they're all good. I mean, everybody's good. And uh, – but but that's what makes it fun to see what happens between now and then. You know, there could be some injuries. There could be, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've kind of dealt with the, the weather some too. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what goes on. Well, you talk about this league. Uh, and I, this, this, I don't know if you guys do this. I'm telling you, I'm usually at one of the games, but the others I'm keeping up with. And I'm yeah. like, oh, man, I can't. Yeah. You can believe what happened, but you're like, oh, wow, that did happen. Yeah. And I'm almost every night I'm putting down, who, yeah. where's it stand? Right. You know, it's it's so exciting just to mm -hmm. watch it. I know it's more stressful, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, what I've, I've to also noticed, I was thinking about last night again. We haven't got to Franklin, and of course, Indy's one of our rivals right there. But the guys seem to really get along good. It's like there's no trash talking. Yeah. There's just everybody's playing. You know, we want to beat each other just as bad. I know Coach and I, we. You know, we want to beat each other bad, but it's just, it's just a different, neat environment that the, the kids are involved, the, the fans are involved, but it's, it's just a neat, it's like you, it's exactly what you'd want your own son or daughter to be playing yeah. in. Yeah. You know, you, you don't get the experience anywhere else than, than right here. So uh, it, it's, it, the next couple of weeks is going to be fun, hopefully, for, for all the teams involved. Again, we're talking about tonight's 10 for a matchup summit in Page High School. Coach Street, as we're finishing up here, Give me a key or two for your team tonight to get that season sweep of Summit. Yeah, I, I mean, for us, it really centers on defense. You know, our, our ability to, to, to pressure the basketball, uh, to, to force teams into maybe shots they don't want to shoot, maybe speed teams up if we can, you know. Um, and, and then it's about, you know, our ability to, to make shots. You know, we shot the ball well at our <laughs> place. Um, offensive execution has been something we've worked on a ton. Uh, we've got several guys that can shoot the ball well, and it's about making sure we find the right people with the right shots. Um, I know that sounds simple, but kind of for us, that's really what we focus on pretty much daily with our team for us to take that next step. Coach Burgess, for your team to go uh, with the season split, what do you right. need to do tonight? Well, they played really well. I know the time we played them, they, they, they really shot the ball well, played well. Uh, they're very difficult because he's got a, you know, he goes up and down the, the roster. There's kids that you really can't tell the difference in, so that really makes it a challenge. But, but what I've tried to do, and I think what we're allowed to do, and since we have so many games in this, you, you got to really concentrate more on your team. You know, that's what I'm having to do right now is we're concentrating on Summit. Because, you know, we, we've got games coming up three a, game, three a week. So, again, you are going to look at certain things that Paige did before, but then you've also got to, in, in our situation, we've got to make sure we're, we're handling the ball, we're, we're, we're rebounding and doing some things that we really – need to be doing every game, not just for Paige or whoever it may. We've got to be able to do the same thing every game. So uh, maybe not so much centering around what Paige is doing, but what, what our basketball team does. And if we can control, at least we control that part. He does a great job, great game. You know, they had a great crowd there. Uh, I think we'll have a, a nice crowd tonight too. And so uh, I think it'll be fun for, for hopefully both teams to get back going again. And we're looking forward yeah. to it again. Thank you all for being here today. Oh, thank you all. Thank, thank you. Coach, yeah. Thank you for joining us for The Coach's Show. We'll see you next time.